How is it going everybody Mr Android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel if you have recently updated your Samsung device to Android 4.0 and your phone is getting slow or if you are facing some kind of lag after updating your device then this is going to be a very useful video for you today i will be showing you some really useful tricks by using which you can easily fix the lag and make your phone much better with that being said make sure you guys watch this video till the very end also let's aim for 1500 likes on this one so drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Here I have got two of my Samsung devices. One is the Galaxy A52 and the other one is the S21 Ultra. I have updated both of my phones and after applying some really useful settings, both of them are working fine and I'm not facing any kind of issue. First things first, you need to disable the background blur that you get while opening the app drawer or swiping over the notification panel. I knew it looks good, but if you're using a mid-range phone like the Galaxy A52 or even the A52s, then I will recommend you to remove this blur effect. All you have to do is go to settings, accessibility, visual enhancement. Here you will get an option called reduce transparency and blur. Simply turn it on, it will reduce the blur effect and I'm sure it is going to improve the performance of your device. Next, you need to delete or wipe the cache partition on your phone. To do this, you need to have the cable and make sure you connect it to another device or even you can connect it to your laptop as well. Once done, you have to turn off your phone. Now you need to press and hold both the volume up and power button. Once you are inside the screen, simply scroll down and select wipe cache partition. You can navigate by using the volume up and down keys. To select an option, simply press the power button and select S. Once you are done, you can reboot and disconnect your phone. It is very simple and it is not going to delete any of your data. Next, if you go inside settings, battery and device care, just tap on this three dots and select automation. Here you can select this option called auto optimize daily and you can also set a time when you want your phone to restart automatically. This will optimize your phone on a daily basis and it will improve the performance as well. Not only this, you can also add a very useful widget. Just press and hold on your home screen, select widget and drag this device care widget to your home screen. So now you really don't have to go inside your phone setting. You can simply tap on this icon and clear all the unwanted things directly from your home screen. This will optimize your device and make it much better. Now let's talk about one of my favorite settings that I immediately apply whenever I get a Samsung phone. No matter if I am using the Galaxy S21 Ultra or even the Galaxy A52. Guys, I love the animations of One UI 4.0, they have improved the animations but still it slows down your phone. So I will highly recommend you to reduce the animation scale. I know a lot of you must have already applied this setting but in case if you are new to Samsung, then go to settings, about phone, software information and tap on this build number for 7 times. This will enable the developer settings in your phone. Now go inside the developer options, scroll down till you find the animation scale and reduce all the 3 to 0.5x. Once you change this setting, you will immediately notice a difference and it will feel like you are using a brand new phone. Next, if you go to settings, here you get an option called touch sensitivity. It is disabled by default and if you haven't already, then just go ahead and turn it on. It's a very important setting that you need to change whenever you apply a screen protector on your phone. No matter what Android version you are using, just make sure you have enabled this setting. If you are comfortable using navigation buttons on your phone, instead of these beautiful gestures, I will recommend you to change it. Go to display, navigation bar and change it to buttons. Sometimes when you are using gestures on a mid-range phone like A52, the animations doesn't look good and it feels jittery. I am not forcing you to start using navigation buttons but if you are comfortable then you can definitely give it a try. So that's it for this video. These are some important settings you need to change on your phone. One UI 4.0 offers a lot of cool features. It's not been optimized well for Samsung mid-range phones. So just apply all these settings that I have shown you in this video. You will see a lot of difference in the performance of your Samsung device. And if you guys liked this video, then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.